Hey everyone, welcome to Technical Voice. In the last video, we have seen that how we can get the access token uh, from C Sharp uh, code uh, by calling the uh, PayPal REST APIs. In this video, I'll explain that how we can uh, create the plan and uh, how we can get the details of the plan. So uh, the plan is necessary to create the subscription and for the plan we also need a product ID. Uh, so uh, I have already created the product ID through you know uh, to the postman and uh, we will use the hardcore product ID. Uh, so how you can create the product ID by code? It's very easy. You will get the idea from this that uh, from this video that how you can call the REST APIs of the PayPal uh, you can call any API uh, from the uh, C sharp code by using this tutorial so we have bunch of APIs so I have shown that how you can create the authorization uh, how you can call the authorization APIs to get the generate access token and in this uh, video I'll cover the uh, you know the plan section and how you can create the plan and how you can get the plan by the ID so it will cover the post as well as request get request okay and the other requests are straightforward you just need to create the request and response and uh, then I'll explain uh, later in this video so in the last video I felt that uh, while uh, creating the video uh, the live coding took too much time and the videos went on around 16 minutes so just to make things short uh, I'll upload this code on the github and will share the link in the description so in the last video you know that we have get the access token now we need to use this access token so for example I just create the client uh, the PayPal a a client API and then I just get the authorization request and it returns the response and then I am uh, I created that uh, new method which is the set token if I go into it what it does it it just set the client dot set barrier token okay and if you are wondering that from where this method come from I have installed an identity model uh, it's a NuGet package if I let me go to the uh, NuGet packages and if I go to the install you can see that I have installed identity model .core. so <coughs> I'm just setting the barrier token and now for every request that this client will use I'll automatically uh, insert the barrier token into it okay and now uh, let me show you that uh, where is program okay now for, we will select the option number two create any plan so if I go to the two you can see that I am creating the uh, the billing cycles of the plan the first is the trial period which is the ten dollar and then the monthly regular period uh, which is you know uh, hundred dollar the total cycle zero means that it is infinite so user needs to cancel if you want that you want to set that uh, for example there are 12 installments and whatever the cycles are you can set the number here so this is exactly the same that uh, if we go to the create plan and this is the body okay so we are setting these in the C sharp class okay and then we are creating the plan so the, for the product ID I'm, I'm hard coding it I have already have this product ID okay I have created through the postman and now I'm using this product ID and name description and adding billing cycles and other faces and then I will send the uh, request create plan which take the create plan request and if you're wondering that from where this class is generated uh, I have generated I did not generate manually uh, as I shown in the part number 8 that how you can convert JSON to C sharp okay and uh, when I get the request I'm serializing into the JSON and I am uh, sending as a you know JSON format or setting into the uh, HTTP request message which I am sending here 
and then I need to call uh, this is our base URL which is in the config helper and uh, this is the uh, complete URI where we need to send the request so when we get the request I am deserializing into this class and then returning the result and I am printing the plan ID once I get the plan ID then uh, the next request is uh, for the for option number three to get the details of the plan where I am printing the name of the plan so it also take the detail uh, the plan ID and uh, I as this is a get request so I am inserting in the uh, parameter in the this address and then I am deserializing the request that's it so that's how you can create and get the request of the plan so let me run and show you okay so create any plan so let me type 2 and enter so it's created the plan and its ID is this so let me copy this and run it again and this time we will call the option number 3 so input should be like 3 comma and then plan plan ID and the plan ID is this one so the plan name is technical voice plan that we have you know uh, that we have uh, this is a technical voice plan so this is how you can create the plan and uh, get the details of the plan so the purpose of uh, this uh, all video just to show the, uh, show you how you can send any request for is uh, for the uh, PayPal API. So we have too many APIs. So you can now call any API by using this code. But you but you need to change is the request and response and uh, this URL and then also for the get request you need to change this one and whatever the parameter it takes okay so by using this uh, I have I have just shown you that what are the how you need to send the post request how you need to send the get request to the PayPal API so that's it for this video in the next video I will create the subscription and uh, then I will explain that how you can cancel activate and whatever other subscription requests are and then we will also see that how we can configure the webhooks okay thanks bye bye